Uh, hey guys, what's happening? We are actually up in Colorado right now. So just wrapped up uh, my first two weeks of training back running and proud to say still on the run streak and out here with Noah. Noah's gonna say hi now. I'm gonna make him say hi. Good afternoon from Colorado. And we are up here today near the Rampart Reservoir and we're scoping out a couple things with our races coming up this summer out here in Colorado. And number one on the list, which is one of our biggest reasons for coming out is to scope out the Royal Gorge Groove, new race courses. And we're gonna be doing that tomorrow. We're gonna get some, some good running out there. And let's see, what else do I have on tap this week? Got to run today. And so I think we're gonna hit up the group run. Um, but as you can see, it's a bit snowy out here, but it's nice to be back in Colorado. It is, it is definitely the winter. Here we are. It's cold. <laughs> what was it? Uh, 9,500 feet? Yeah, what is the elevation here? 9290, let's see. 9286. 9286. So this is the up near the high point, so we're a little bit above the reservoir. And we're staying tonight at the Buffalo Lodge Resort, Buffalo Ranch Resort, Buffalo Lodge Bicycle Resort. We're staying there and that's the start line for the 50 mile and then 50K for Ram Party. Just don't think about it, just go do it. Oh boy. All right, we're out here. You got it, buddy. Let's go, Noah. Back at the on the grind. Feel that cold air, baby. So, our test bolts and stuff here. This basically says don't fall, you're on your own. So this side is all the Ferrari. So, up there, that's where you tightrope across the. Oh, tightrope it? <laughs> that's awesome. 50 roots, he said. All labeled and every and everything. Like, where does that? That doesn't happen anywhere. Five eleven, dude. Some for wisdom to get around the Okay. You look 
hard left you'll see point on the vista way out there. Good morning everyone. We're out here today at the Royal Gorge Ranch. We've been touring around the property with the owner Ty and we're coming off his Via Ferrata and climbing route wall here, which is on his property. And we're gonna be going up the epic incline here before we take a tour of one of the shorter distance loops for the Royal Gorge Groove trail runs coming up here in April. Uh, April 22nd will be the date for that for the trail runs it's a beautiful area out here absolutely loving it it's a bit warmer than Colorado Springs which is nice all right here we are epic incline 184 steps baby yeah <laughs> Not even close. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to strip down for this run. It's a quad burner, quad buster. Holy shit. <laughs> the burn zone! Love it. We're on the burn zone! <laughs> Feels good, huh? Feels great! 6,000 feet of elevation. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! They're just sitting here now. Yeah. Because these get put on the giant stilts and 1,000 square foot patio that overhangs this cliff edge. Wow. There's Highway 9 that goes up to Brady Ridge. And this is the Royal Saloon. So this side just has big kitchen, big living room, bathroom and shower. Where when I wake up, I have my coffee, my wine bar, my fridge, my drink. You're totally self-sufficient over here. It's just you don't have to pull up. That's close to Is that a coffee? That's your espresso. <sighs> Oh. She's five grand and she makes a seven dollar coffee just like that. Wow, this was a lot of work, dude. She yes, was just looking at that. This was oh. it. didn't build itself. All the shrill didn't. That's a serious lumber right here. All this too? Yeah, rain lane, right? Little G. Oh. Is it? We salvaged that. Oh, there's that river. That is so cool. Look at this. <laughs> Check out this view. You guys didn't get to like this your last race last year. Nothing. We Not even nothing. Of, we were just up on top. On the other side of the bridge. Yeah. Wow. You should have everybody have to come over here, ring a bell, and then go back. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's a good idea. Let's enjoy it a little bit, people. Come on. All right, we're out here previewing the new 12.5K course for the Royal Gorge Groove. We just left the Gunslinger's Lodge, which is the start finish. We're running past some of these future properties. They're gonna be one acre home sites. Buddha Wall. We've got the Buddha Wall where we were earlier, which is that Via Ferrata and rock climbing routes and there's awesome little trails all over the place out here one right there and so through here is private property we'll be running and connecting in with the city's trailhead trail system miles in to the course we've almost at the high point got some 
some great views of the Sangre de Cristo. Looking up over there, we got the park here right behind us. Here. Ooh, this is fantastic. Right, we're on a little side offshoot trail. Comes up and around this quartz mine. You can see Point Alta Vista is over there. That's the Arkansas River Gorge. Climbing up and out, we're 6.6 .6 miles in. We got just a little over a mile to go. And we should be coming up to Point Alta Vista right up here, which is an iconic viewpoint of the Royal Gorge Bridge. Here we are, Point Alta Vista, pretty unique aspect of a trail race. So just got back from our trip to Colorado this week. Really a successful trip. Got to check out the uh, what's going on up there with our group run. Also scouting out three of our upcoming race courses. So we've got the Royal Gorge Groove, which is down near Canyon City. Incredible, incredible race. And really, I think a whole adventurous weekend. So you can do whitewater rafting. There's gonna be um, a lot of other cool things to see in the area. You can see the Royal Gorge Bridge itself. They've got all kinds of cool stuff up there, like a sky coaster and other things. There's zip lining in the area as well. And then we've got the Royal Gorge Ranch itself. There's gonna be a whole staging area for the start finish line. It's super fun. There's stuff for kids to do. There's like mini golf, there's a little pump track. There's gonna be places to hang out and just enjoy all of the views from that area. Uh, and you can take a walk down to Point Alta Vista day before the race. So it's gonna be a real good time. Um, let's see, catch up on my training. So now 17 days into the run streak. And thank you all for those comments about uh, whether you've done a streak or stopped doing a streak in the past. I don't, I'm not married to the streak. Let's just say that first off, I definitely 
am enjoying this kickoff. I think it's going to be a good boost for me, but I have no intentions of a necessarily a long run streak. Probably go at least 30 days, maybe do 50 days just to keep the consistency and then just kind of flow into what my coach thinks is best for me. So uh, I was hoping to, to potentially announce um, whether or not I'm doing Black Canyon 60K in this video, but I think I'll wait till the next video to make that, I guess, announcement. I just wanna make sure I get through this week okay uh, with training and everything. So uh, stay tuned, there's a lot more exciting stuff with our Colorado division. Uh, that is coming up here pretty quick. We also checked out part of the Ram Party course. We actually stayed at the Buffalo Lodge Resort. So that was that's gonna be the start finish line. You can roll right out of bed. So if you are coming in from out of town, definitely check out the lodging there. I think it's gonna be perfect for those of you running on Saturday, the 50K or the 50 miler. And then we also checked out the Ring the Spring start finish line that is over at Rock Ledge Ranch in Garden of the Gods. It is a, an amazing staging area, plenty of parking. We got a great spot to set up everything. Uh, so that's gonna be coming up in June. I think that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.